everybody. Welcome to today's Tuesday Pop-Up Playtime. My name is Mr. Derek, and today I'm going to be doing this live from inside Book Discovery Children's Museum in downtown Baltimore. Welcome, everybody. Good morning. So, I hope you all can hear me well, because today we're going to be talking about sound. Now, there's all sorts of sounds all around us. There's sounds in the air, maybe there's sounds in your room right now where you're watching this, and you can even hear maybe some sounds in the museum if you're listening really quiet. Do you hear anything? There's a lot of sounds. Now, the weather also makes a lot of great sounds too. And today we're going to talk about some weather sounds. And even though we are inside, there's still a lot of cool sounds that you can make just using things around you. So, to start off, we're going to do a warm-up game. Now, this game, we're going to make a rain stir just by using our hands and parts of our body. Now, whenever you play this game, you usually play it with a lot of people. But you can play this game at home with your family or the people that you're with right now. You can also play this game while you're visiting and watching friends online or virtually or even in your classrooms. So, this game, I'm going to be the leader. So all you have to do is follow me and focus, okay? We're going to all make a rainstorm together. So here we go. So this is the first action. I just want you all to rub your hands together really slowly. All right, now I'm going to add a new sound. You might, not, you might not be able to hear my sound very well, but it's okay if you can't hear mine. Just do it as well as you can, because you'll be able to hear it really well where you're at. All right, we're going to add a new sound. All right, now here comes a new sound. So I'm snapping my fingers. It's okay if you don't know how to snap your fingers really well. If that's a little hard for you to do, then just keep doing the third fingers, okay? But if you can't snap your fingers, we're going to snap our fingers. All right, here comes a new sound. There we go. All right, we're going to add a new sound. You might not even see them. They're going to be jumping up and down. There you go. Good job. All right, now let's just do the clap. Just stop the memory stops, just the claps. And now back to the snaps. Back to the four fingers. Back to the one finger. And then let's end it with rubbing our hands. And if you like to end it, you can end it with rainbow. And that was one of my favorite warm-up games where we just made a rainstorm. Now maybe some of you recognize some of the sounds and what those sounds might have represented. But now we're going to talk a little bit about real rubber sounds. And to do that, I'm going to bring out a really special friend of mine. So come follow me this way.
thunder sounds. We usually will hear the thunder after we hear the lightning. And so members, how would you describe that? Is the thunder really loud? talk about one more thing. So, what I'm going to talk about now is something called Foley. Foley is a term that's used especially in movies and TV. Now, when, we're, when you're watching a movie or a television show or even sometimes a cartoon, you'll hear all these cool sound effects. Now, it's really hard to get the sounds in nature because sounds can sometimes be really low. Sometimes it can be hard to hear the sounds. and Sometimes the sounds might not sound as cool as they want to. So what Foley artists will do is that they'll take real items just from around their house and from around their environment, and they'll use those sounds in different ways to replicate or make the sound sound really similar to other things. So Foley artists are definitely used a lot in making weather sounds. And I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of how you can make some weather sounds just by staying at home and just by using items around your house. Now, some of these items you might have access to, some of them you might not be able to, and some of the items that I'm going to use, you might have to ask your parents for permission to help you with this, just because it sometimes get really messy. But there's a lot of different options. So let's start with a really easy one that you can do just without any items, as that's the wind. Now, sometimes people will use a wind sound by just blowing really hard, like this. Can you try that? Can you blow really hard? That may, be a, that may be an okay sound. But you know what else we can do? We can sometimes whistle. And actually in my mask, it works really nice if I whistle with my mask. So I'm gonna put my mask back on and I'm gonna try to whistle. Sometimes they'll also use really cool items like burlap sack and they'll roll it really fast on a wheel and that will kind of make like a sound. But let's use some other examples. I'm gonna talk about some rain. So you might have seen something like this before. This is an example of a rain stick. So I'm gonna hold this a little bit closer to the camera so hopefully you can hear this. But this is another sound. I hope you all can hear that. That's rain sticks are usually metal or plastic. Sometimes you make rain sticks out of cardboard and they're filled with all these beads. And the beads slowly cascade or roll down and that will make kind of the sound of rain. But you can do this at home without a rain stick. So, does anybody recognize what these are? These are Legos. Maybe some of you have Legos at home. All you need is a whole bunch of Legos to grab a pile of them and to slowly drop them into a container like this, a plastic container, or even something metal. So I'm gonna show you an example with my really big tub. Now this might get a little loud, but listen to it really carefully and see if this sounds like rain to you. Just start. 
Another option you could use without Legos is you can use this. Do you recognize what this is? This is rice. This is dried rice. This is the type of rice that we eat at home. You can take some rice before you cook it. You can either put it in a plastic bag or if you have a metal or aluminum plate or tin, you can also pour the dried rice really slowly into the pan. It's really important to do this slow, one, so that you don't make a mess, but also because the slower you can do it, the more it will kind of sound more like kind of slow cascading rain. So I'm going to try this. So again, listen really carefully. See if this reminds you of a rain sound. You can even close your eyes and see if it sounds like it too. when the rice was first starting to hit the metal tin, it sounded a lot like rain to me too. If you don't have rice, you don't want to use rice, you can also use some craft items like beads or uh, marbles. And again, you can use another plastic or metal or metal or aluminum works better than plastic. You can use one of those types of plates and just slowly and just pour them on the plate. Now, as you might have seen, some of the marbles start to spill out a little bit. That's why you gotta be really carefully and be really slow. So that's just a couple examples of how you can make some rain. But now, let me show you really quickly how you can do some thunder. Now, there are some items that you can buy, like this, that will kind of make a thunder sound on its own. This is one of my favorite ones that I like to use. <laughs> So by shaking it really fast, it kind of sounds like thunder because of the metal and the special items. But if you don't have that, you don't have to use that. You can also find some really other cool creative items like this. This is just a piece of really fine plastic. Now I'm gonna move a little bit closer to the camera so that hopefully you can pick this up because the sound isn't really super loud. But let's see if this kind of sounds like thunder. different speeds. So now I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to do it a lot slower. See if it sounds even better. Did you like that? And you know, real thunder actually is classified in different ways. Some thunder is classified as a clap. You might hear the expression thunder clap. And some are described as a rumble. This kind of is like a rumble sound to me. And another fun experiment that you can do at home, too, is if you have a plastic bag like this, this is a really classic way where you can replicate thunder by blowing into the bag. So you're going to blow into it, you're going to tie it really tightly, and then you're going to smash it like this. And this, doing this action, actually is a great scientific way to explain how real thunder works. Because real thunder works in a very similar way. It's all about air that's really tightly compressed, and then when it's released, the air travels in a wave. Remember those waves we're talking about? And it hits our ear, and that's the thunder stem. So before we go, we're gonna really quickly, all together, make a really fun rainstorm together. Okay? And I'm actually going to grab them. So if you have some Legos or some other items around your house or a plastic paper bag or whatever you want, I'm going to give you a second to try and go and find something. And all together, we're going to make a rainstorm all together. So let me grab some of my stuff. And I'm going to come back over this way. All right. So let me just grab them because I don't want them to submit All right. And this, we're going to make a thunderstorm. thunderstorm just by using holy sound effects. So the first thing we're going to need is our lightning. Because remember, we always see lightning first before we hear thunder. So let's make some thunder sounds. Just use a flashlight like this. 
um, with your parents' permission. So those are just some really fun examples of how you can use um, Foley sound effects and Foley sound techniques to make your own Weber sounds just indoors without having to go outside. Wasn't that pretty cool, Memphis? That was awesome! I hope you all have fun making sound effects at home and with your family and with your friends. Thank you all so much for coming and joining Mr. Derek today inside Port Discovery for today's Tuesday Pop-Up Live. I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope I was didn't have problems hearing me, but I hope you had a lot of super fun, and I can't wait to see you all next time. Enjoy the rest of your day, and keep your eyes peeled out for all the fun activities and fun announcements coming very soon from Port Discovery. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful morning. Goodbye, everybody. See you later.